Hey, what's going on everybody? Real Sports Updates here, back again with another video. Um, you guys see the thumbnail, you know what the video is about. Are the Dallas Cowboys better than we expected? Um, and my answer right now is yes. A um, couple of reasons why. Um, the opening, the, that, that opening game Thursday night against the Bucks, um, the Cowboys should have won. Uh, the kicker left Greg the Legs airline. He left some points on the board, uh, but the Cowboys showed that they were able to play in a shootout type of shootout style type of game against the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks. Um, Dak Prescott was fantastic. Uh, the receivers were fantastic, um, and they gave the Bucks a lot of problems defensively. Um, CD Lamb was CD Lamb was amazing, uh, you know, and I think. They they really showed that they can come out, put points on the board. Um, they abandoned the run game a, a little more than probably than what they probably should have, but um, they got the job done regardless. Uh, and week two against the uh, Los Angeles Chargers, um, the 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 Cowboys really really got back to their bread and butter. They ran the ball. Um, their offensive line was was creating holes all game long uh and zeke and uh tony uh pollard they both ate um they both had really really good uh um really good gashes of, of yards you know these guys are they're averaging five and six yards a carry so they're able to play both styles and i think that they really show that in these first two weeks um and i'm not a cowboy fan um i'm not a cowboy hater either though um, I can be a, a objective about what I, what I see, and uh, they look they look pretty good. Um, for it's impressive when a team can come out and play two different two different styles of football um, in back to back weeks, and that's exactly what the Cowboys did. Uh, shootout style, you know, Dak Prescott slinging all over the field and then coming in against the Chargers and playing boring football. You know, he was boring. Um, he had that one mistake that went interception. Um, after that, he it was just boring football. Um, you know, he dropped back. He made the throws he needed to make. Um, he didn't take too many. Uh, uh, he didn't take too many. Um, you know, too many chances downfield or, or, you know, throwing into to double coverage and any of that. He played boring football. Um, you know, and he did what he had to do. So. Yes, that's the one reason why. the The second reason why is obviously the NFC NFC East, aka NFC least. The Cowboys should win this division handedly, um, I, and I personally, I think they should go six and zero in the division. They shouldn't lose to any of these teams in the division. Um, the The Giants are not good. Uh, they They're just not. They're not a team who's going to compete. They're not. They're, they're not a team who's going to, you know, make a lot of noise. Uh, the the Cowboys should easily beat them both times. Um, I think the Redskins, excuse me, the Washington Football Team. Um, the Washington Football Team is a good team. They are overrated though. Uh, all summer long, we heard about how good their defense was and their defensive line and yada yada yada, and they haven't showed it in these first two games. Um, First two home games as well too, so I don't think the the Washington football team is as good as advertised. I think the Cowboys can easily beat them both times as well, um, and I think the 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 Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, now that that might be the team that might give the Cowboys the most trouble, uh, based on these first two weeks. Um, they are one and one, but uh, defensively they look really good. Um, they've given up a total of twenty three points in the first two weeks. Um, Atlanta only got six points against them and um the Niners got 17 points they won but they only scored 17 points so um the Philadelphia defense I think that might give the Cowboys a little bit of trouble and especially them being a division opponent they they know the Cowboys really well um so those games will probably be really close but when it comes down to it the Cowboys are more talented and if you if you you know if you look at the position groups of both teams who's better you know the Cowboys have a better quarterback they have a better running back they have a better uh, receiving core they have you know um coaching would would have an advantage in coaching you know
know, McCarthy versus Nick Sirianni. So the, the, the Cowboys should win this division very, very easily. Um, I do not, you know, I, I don't know as, as far as playoffs and all that stuff. It's too early to get into right now. Um, there's always a, a healthy layer of uh, skepticism anytime, anytime the Cowboys or Raiders are involved. Anytime they're doing something good, there's always some skepticism going on. And uh, I do have some skepticism because, I, you know, I've seen better Cowboy teams uh, than this have complete, you know, midseason meltdowns, um, you know, end up losing games and not qualifying for the playoffs or getting to the final game of the season and melting down and not ending up making the playoffs. So um, I am skeptical right now, but, uh, you know, it – Every time the Cowboys are going to go out and win, and I mean, they don't really have to win every game, but every game they go out and show that they're able to play with the best teams in the league. They they go out and show that they're able to execute what they want to do offensively, um, defensively. Uh, a little bit of that skepticism goes away. Um, but I still have a healthy, healthy level of it. Um, another key point is, the de I, I just mentioned right now the defense. The defense looks a lot better than it did last year. Um, Dan Quinn, the former Falcons coach, took over the the uh, defensive coordinator role from uh, Mike Nolan. Mike Nolan, I don't know what he was doing last year, man. Um, I, <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what they were trying to do. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish last year. They did not look good. Um, they were completely disjointed. Um, they look like they have a solid scheme this year, um, and they 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 do have weaknesses up front. Um, the defensive line is the weakness of the team. That team is the the, the defense is not as bad. Um, they're not as bad as they looked in in that the the opening game of the season. They gave a uh, gave up a bunch of points and yards to Tom Brady and the Bucks. Um, schematic wise they look they look a lot they look a lot better and a lot more intentional with with their movements and what they're doing um last year they were just kind of out there reacting to to plays going on this this year they look like they um they're intentional about what they're doing um and what they're trying to do now they don't have they don't have you know very many guys up front they don't have the great defensive tackles um and that's what the 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 you know little sidebar little tangent the Dan Quinn is they they they're running a version of the the defense the the Seattle Seahawks defense the the one that they you know won the Super Bowl with but I'm I'm sick of seeing this in the NFL now um, coordinators have to be so coordinators have to be more willing to defensive coordinators have to be more willing to. Um, adjust their defense. You cannot come out and run that same exact defense, the Seattle Seahawks defense, with all of these other teams. That Seattle Seahawks defense requires domination up front. It requires an, a, at least one elite in um, an elite defensive tackle. Um, the linebacker position has to be, you got to have it, at least one elite guy back there, and then you got to have at least one or two elite guys in, in your back end. And if you don't have that, you're not really running the real Seattle Seahawks, um, you know, Legion of Boom defense. You're running a, a, a great value version of it. And a lot of teams are really doing that. Um, you know, the, the you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, I, think it's, I think it's popular because it's so simple. But um, its simplicity is doesn't really, you, you kind of have to be a little bit more multiple now. Um, these offensive coordinators and these offenses are really they're running um they're running at such a high level that that defense is just kind of you know and there's not a whole lot of blitzing that comes along with it too you come out you're in the same stuff um and you know the quarterbacks just eat it a lot but that's a little side note little side tangent let's get back to the cowboys um but defensively they are better um We'll see. We'll see if that lasts, and I think it will. Um, they don't really. Their division is not great. They they're not going to be threatened by any. There's no good offense in their division. They're the best offense in their division. Um, the other three teams do not have offenses that 
uh, you know, can do half of what the Cowboys can do as far as running it and throwing it. So, um, you know, I think they're they'll 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 be fine um, on the defensive front. Uh, offensively, it's just I think for 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 the Cowboys, I think it's, it comes down to injuries and being healthy. I think if everybody's healthy, um, the Cowboys can make a little noise. They can because if you're able to run the ball um, sufficiently, if you're really able to get get in there and run that ball, um, not guys off the off the line of scrimmage and be physical, uh, you you can. The, the sky's the limit, you know, especially when you get into the playoffs. Um, and Dak Prescott is a guy who, you know, he's way more than a game manager. You know, we, we know that he can go out and win games for you. So um, if everybody stays healthy, especially on the offensive line, if the offensive line stays healthy, um, and if uh, Kellen Moore, you know, he, he also deserves credit as well, too. He's offensive coordinator. Um, he knows he, he knows what he's doing, and um, – he showed that in this previous game against my Chargers, uh, but uh, I have confidence in him calling calling uh, calling the offensive plays. He he knows what he's doing, and he he got back to the basics. Um, he got back to playing cowboy football, which is running the ball and being aggressive, and uh, you know, kind of you know playing inside out, and uh, that's what they did, and they ended up beating my Chargers. But uh, you know. I, I I seen that was a question that was going around today about the Cowboys and uh you know I just figured I'd give my thoughts on it. Uh you know, unbiased thoughts. Um I like I said, I'm not a cowboy fan, not a cowboy hater, but I can admit if a team looks good and they do. They look they look really good and um, you know, we'll see what happens with them. It's a long season, fifteen more games, but um, you know, they're gonna be a, a, a very entertaining watch for, you know, everybody, so so yeah, guys, uh, that's the video for today. Don't forget to uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.